It is uh, 6.42 in the morning and we have a very long drive ahead of us. Um, as you can see, Bowie's there and the kitty cats are there. there we've got um, the whole back seat's full of cages um, because we're taking everybody to get the shots and to get neutered and spayed. It's a big, big task, but we're going to do it. Um, it's for the health of the animals because contrary to popular belief, I am not a bad pet owner. Um, people are just fucking ignorant. Um, I've said it before. I'll say it again. We do have the animal's best interests at heart. Always have, always will, which is why if it's not a fitting home, we tend to rehome. We rescue. We've saved animals. Yada, yada, yada. Feed strays, all that stuff. Um, on that topic, we have become friends with Lucifer's um, old owner, and she, of course, has Lucifer's mom. She has recently fallen onto hard times and found herself more or less homeless. Um, I mean, she's staying with friends, not on the streets or anything like that, but she's had to give up her place and couldn't take Lucifer's mom. So we offered to take her in, and the catch is, is that she is pregnant. She's a week possibly two weeks from giving birth and um, we are going to of course let her have her babies and afterwards we will find them good homes and then we are going to have her spayed as well she is a year and a half this is her third litter um, she should have been spayed a long time ago so we are gonna end up getting her spayed if we end up keeping her I'm pretty sure we will because I did say you know this is this is your cat if it was Lucifer I would definitely want him back if you want, I mean, we have no problem holding her for you and fostering her. And when you get back on your feet, you could have her back after she weans her babies. I mean, that that's at least three months from now. Maybe you'll be on, on your feet and able to take her. And she says that she, she doesn't really think that she's going to be doing that. So um, most likely she's going to be ours. Her name was Iggy, and we have renamed her Lily. And I'll put a picture here of uh, what inspired us to call her that. And we spell it L-I-L-I. -L -I. Um, I'm not a fan of Lily Reinhardt or whatever her name is, I'm Betty Cooper from Riverdale. I'm not a fan of that actress at all, but um, I do like the way her name is spelled, so that's how we decided to spell it. Um, so yeah, exciting day. I will have updates on everybody when we pick them up later on. I feel so bad because they couldn't eat or drink last night, and they're so sad. They have no idea what's going on, of course. They just know that the food and water was taken away. They didn't get their wet food before bed last night. And first thing in the morning, they're put in these cages, and they're in a car, and there's no way to explain to them. Bowie. There's no way to explain to them what's going on and what you're doing and that they're going to be safe. I mean, they could think that they're going to be rehomed or gotten rid of and I'm especially I'm going to miss Lucifer so much. I haven't been without him since we got him and he's never far from me. I go to bed, I wake up and he's sleeping outside my door like cuz we have, you know, his mom in there so they don't remember each other and we don't want them to fight. We don't want her stressed out so she's isolated. And, um, uh, I'm, I just feel really, really bad. I feel bad the most for Lucifer because he's my baby and I, I'm going to really miss him. I feel bad for all of them because I have meat. Josh feels bad for all of them. He doesn't even want to have, let us have breakfast. I'm going to wait until they're out. Um, because he feels bad for them, but, uh, he mostly feels bad for Miss Pretty. She's always timid. She's, she's been timid her whole life, um, but Jezebel's new, so I feel bad for her. She, I feel bad for everybody, but of course I'm, I'm partial to my boy, and um, I'm going to miss him so much, not not having him around the house, and yeah, it's going to be an empty, empty house for this afternoon, but um, I guess it, we're heading off, and it is still dark outside, so you cannot see anything but the shine of my glasses, so um I would love to uh, down, video down. them in there, but I don't know if I'd be allowed to. I know that um, yeah. I'm going to take pictures and all that stuff of them afterwards. They're all dogs. They're all animals. That's true. Um, Say nice goodbye to them, and uh, I hope everything goes well and there are no complications and everybody's 
healthy and wakes up just fine and you know I just you know I just don't want anything to happen to anybody especially in trying to do the right thing for everybody so um, this video is now useless so I will cut it and I will check in later it is daylight now and we are almost there we're how long three minutes less than five minutes two minutes, yeah. two minutes away and um we feel so bad for the babies yeah. I, I was reaching behind me touching lucifer's cage and he's reaching through and he's rubbing his his little face on my hand and i feel so bad and they're all crying and they're so sad and there's just no way to tell them it's so aggravating and we just want this day to be over with so we can have our babies back home but um, we're gonna be pulling up soon, so I hope we're early. We had a long way to go, so we left early, but we're, we'll hope that, here's hoping that they will see us early oh, so that they could get in. Okay. He's better drooling for me. He's probably, he's car sick. It's all right, bud. You're right. Aw, mommy's little boy. Mommy's little boy. He's there purring, because I was just petting him. Aww. I'm going to miss you so much. Mommy oh, feels so bad. I'm so sorry. Got to get your little balls cut off, though. Oh, boy. You're going to get all your shots. You're going to be so happy. You're such a big boy. Oh, Aww. Aww, it makes me so sad. Look at how happy he is. I was just, I had the gate open, and I was, I had my hand in patting him, and he was, purring and purring. He is so happy. He doesn't care where he is now because mommy is patting him. Oh, that's my baby boy. I love him so much. You can probably hear him purring. Lucifer! Oh, poor baby. Mommy will see you soon, okay? Oh, oh. I just patted him once and he is purring and purring. And reaching out for my hand, he's cleaning himself, and he was kneading onto the blanket. Like he is just the sweetest. You probably hear him. He's so happy just because I patted him. He doesn't really care where he is. But then the other babies are doing good too. They're just chilling, sleeping. Jessbell's over there. And she's chilling, and Bowie's up there drooling. They're going to come get him because he can't be on a leash because his old owners beat him with a leash. So he's uh, he's terrified of leashes. He will not move. So they we need help to deal with it. But they're going to come out and get him. And oh, I'm so sad. I didn't think I'd be this sad, but I'm so sad. But it is for the best. I know I sound like such a whiny bitch, but uh, it's like... Dropping your kids off at school the first day, you know, it's so hard. Better than I thought I'd be. <laughs> All Try right. not to cry. Oh. <laughs> Don't say that on the video. You're recording? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. We just dropped the babies off, and as you can hear, we're like, ooh. We didn't want to leave. Um, Josh just told me he went to go check on Bowie and see how Bowie was doing, and we're already known as a couple that doesn't want to leave. We stood in there for, what, like 15 minutes? talking and talking and talking. Are you sure they're going to be okay? Are you sure they're going to be okay? Do they need pain medication? Are they going to be alright? <laughs> just, you know, like, we just want to make sure that everything is okay. Oh, oh, oh. sorry. Josh got a phone call. Um, but, uh, yeah, we were just there trying to find reasons to talk to her and ask her questions so that we didn't have to leave and we're gonna get everybody's weight and stuff and so we got their card and we got their number and we're just like the overprotective parents that don't want to let the kids go um, just never been without them like that and it's just so hard and you just keep telling yourself it's for the best it's for the best it's for the best miss pretty is in heat all the time and back when um when my baby girl got killed and they had all been accidentally let out, it turns out that she had gotten pregnant and we found, I found, um, two dead babies she miscarried. 
they were um, in the living room. One was on the couch and one was on the floor. And we, I hadn't even known she was pregnant. But she, she doesn't really come over to me. She doesn't sit on me. So I, I wouldn't have felt the changes in her tummy or anything. And um, she's just not really a cuddly cat. So we, we had no idea. And it was just kind of floored. She's cuddly with me. She sits on Josh's leg. But she doesn't sit on your lap. And you rub her tummy and things like that. She likes your head scratched. And... Um, uh, she, she's been in heat a lot trying to get out, trying to get out, but nobody is allowed outside. Um, we don't want outdoor cats, so it's been hell on her and hell on us, and so we really, really needed to get this done, and we just thought it would be a good idea just to do it in one swoop and get everybody done, because we don't want to go through this individually time and time again. I'm glad we did it all at once, because having to go through this again, like, one at a time would be so hard each time and this time we just get it all over with it's fine everybody will recover together and stuff like that and uh it'll be all good i miss lucifer i miss them all yeah and um bowie was terrified they had to come out and carry him in and he didn't want to come out they had like a kind of a leash collar thing, rope thing, and he was just cowering, he was shaking and shaking, and he just, he didn't want to let anybody near him, they were, they were able to pick him up though, he's, he's more scared of men than women, because it's a guy that used to abuse him, um, but then he calmed down and he was fine, and you know, he'll be fine, he'll, he'll be all doped up, Josh already paid for his pain medication ahead of time, so we'll have extra pain meds, they said the cats probably won't need it. Um, but we're gonna go to the store now and get them some wet food so they can have uh, they have wet food at home But we're gonna get them Expensive wet food so they can have treats when they get home. They probably won't have an appetite But it'll be there for them when they do and so we will update when we get everybody back and Hope that they're okay, and they don't hate us too much for dropping them off and then they wake up in pain and They don't know why but Every other cat has to go through that, so. Well, I'm talking back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll Coffee? I'll check in later. It is 3:16 p.m. and we are on our way to go pick up the babies. Um, we've got Loki in the back. Loki. Uh, we decided to bring him because. He was actually moping, like, since we got Bowie, um, Loki's not really an indoor dog anymore. He's enjoying being outside, so he's outside all the time, and they just play. We have uh, an extra room outside, and we leave that open for them with uh, his cage, because um, you guys might have seen in our videos, my videos, um, we got a big old dog crate in the living room. It was there because it used to be in... Um, in, in the bedroom or, or set up in the living room and every night that's where Loki would sleep. He was pretty much an indoor only dog and that's how he wanted it when he was alone. Uh, I guess he had no reason to be outside, nobody to play with, you know. And um, uh, since we got Bowie, he prefers to be outside and so we let them just, you know, go outside and play. But we did put the cage out there because he loves his cage. It's like his sanctuary or whatnot. And um, he goes in there and he sleeps and we have blankets and stuff out there and in the room for them and when we brought Loki inside when we got home he noticed that nobody was there and he just kind of moped like Josh went to go get something to eat and usually Loki when he hears daddy come home he jumps up and he's standing by the door and he's all excited and this time like he was on the couch and he barely lifted his head he wouldn't even look at him he just kind of just he just sat there and just moped he was so sad and um we felt so bad he was probably like damn it i'm all by myself because the people we got him from said that they had a bunch of huskies but he was never accepted into their pack so he, they wouldn't play with him or anything he was pretty much by himself a lot of the time and you know with pebbles she was too little and they couldn't really play and then she would beat him up and stuff and you know, rip his fur out and all that other junk, and now he has Bowie, who is his size, and they get along great, and 
so he, I guess he really misses him, so he's come along for the ride. So um, I, I look like shit because I have not slept. I've been awake since yesterday, yesterday afternoon. It's been over 24 hours since I have slept and uh, it's finally starting to hit me. So my makeup's just like given up, smeared all over and my eyebrows have like tripled in size <laughs> as I try to repair them. But I just don't see the point in washing my face and redoing my makeup if I'm probably gonna just go get the cats and come home and go to sleep. So I just throw on whatever so we can go get the cats and spend some time with them and then go to sleep or whatever. But um, I'm really excited to see the babies. We try to call and get an update, but nobody answered the phone, so we'll just have to see how they are when we go. Got anything to add? I miss Bowie. I miss Lucifer. I, I miss all of them. Yeah. I miss all the babies. They're going to be so happy to be home. They'll be like, don't you ever do that to us again. <laughs> Poor babies. Uh, the house is so empty without them, but I took the opportunity to vacuum off the cat tree and clean their room and stuff like that. and you know, um, get everything nice for them so they'll be happy when they get home. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, um, so I guess I'll update once we have them here and they'll be all groggy probably and I don't know if they'll even be with it because when I had my cats spayed and when I was in New Zealand uh, they were just completely out of it. They are stoned out of their minds for like the first day. So uh, that just might be the case. They might just be too stoned to be relieved just, uh, you know. <laughs> um, but anyway, it'll, it'll be all right. And we'll never have to go through this with them again, so that's good. Ooh. Stop the video! Uh, how am I supposed to fit? We got the babies, look, there's Miss Pretty and Zero. They're, yeah. all, they're all stone, poor babies. So Miss Pretty was in heat. Go on. Oh. Bowie. Our other dog was uh he's so depressed at home. He was he was so sad. And there's just a hell. Oh he wants to see his buddy. Whoa. Oh no no no. You're okay. You're okay. I'm sorry, I know it's very scary. You're going home, hey, boy. Look, hey. Oh. Oh. I don't want him to run, so I don't want to take my leash off of him. Loki. Loki's happy. Hi. You are gorgeous. He's normally white. He's been playing in the mud. <laughs> you are a beast. Oh. <laughs> get his uh, get his paw in. We're going home, boy. Oh, Loki, so happy. Loki, so happy to have his buddy back. Hey, Bowie. And and Jezebel was in heat too, and she's only like four months old. So uh, yeah, let's close this up. Ugh, let's see. Hey, boy. You can take your leash off now. Come here. Loki, come here. Let me take your leash. Come here. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Oh, hey. Hey. You okay? Jessica. Oh, I can't believe you're in heat so early, little girl. It's a good thing we got her cut. Yeah. Newspaper, so. Take the newspaper away so she can see. Oh. It's okay. Oh, everybody's so upset. They should be happy to be home, but oh my god, we got our babies back. So yeah, um, I, I kind of tried to halfway record what I could. Lucifer. He was sitting there facing that way, and I called his name, and he turned around instantly. But he's groggy, and Mommy's he's hungry. he's not happy. He wants to get out. But we're going home. Hey yeah, boy. And Bowie, the other cats okay, are just boy. chilling out. Uh, Always one. 
Yeah, Bowie is whining. He's probably in pain. Probably so. Um, but yeah, I couldn't believe it heads? on the paperwork. I couldn't believe it when they said that Jezebel was in heat already. She showed no signs of being in heat. No yelling, no trying to get outside, nothing. And um, she uh, she's only like four months old, but she weighs five pounds. Lucifer weighs 3.9. Bowie is what, 48 something. Um, Miss Pretty is six something. And Zero is like four. <laughs> And Zero hasn't hit puberty yet, or not puberty, she hadn't, she wasn't in heat. And without Miss Pretty was over her heat, but she wasn't. Yeah, she was still in heat. Yeah. She stopped, some, stopped showing signs of it. Yeah, she did. But now they're done, and we're going to go home. We're just so happy to have the babies back. Yeah, Loki was so happy to see Bowie. Oh my God, his tail was wagging. He was still pulling. Was. Yeah, he was like, now he's laying down. He didn't lay down the whole way over here. No, because Bowie's laying down. Loki's back there. Laying down. Probably next to his buddy. Oh, no. Yeah, I see. Bowie's right there. You gotta take these, little boy. And there's, uh, there's the other kitty cats. There's Miss Pretty. Miss Pretty. And Zero. And Miss Pretty, I miss you. Jezebel's over there. Oh, Lucifer's not happy. I'm gonna stop recording and give him some love. I feel so bad for him. Poor baby. Alright, babies are home. Come Lucifer, come on, boy. It's okay. Jezebel. 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 There you go, you're home. Fine. Oh. Hey, take it easy. Jezebel. Oh, easy. you're stoned. Hey, boy. How you feeling? Oh, it's okay. Here you go. Miss Pretty. Zero. Miss Pretty's out of it. <laughs> Just falls out of it too. She's, she doesn't Zero. know where she is. Hey. Oh, my boy still loves me. You gotta close off that cat tree. Zero. It's okay. What you doing? He's wobbly. No. She is wobbly. He's wobbly. Yes. They're all wobbly. <laughs> hey, Miss Pretty. <laughs> Oh, careful. Them's the drugs, girl. <laughs> Look at her. Jezebel. She doesn't know where she's at. She's just walking around all funny. Hey, my boy. Hello, my boy. We're going to leave Bowie inside. Zero. Jezebel. You don't want to go back in there. No. Let's empty out those crates and put them back outside too. <laughs> He's just trying to go about business as normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jezebel's the most out of it, I think. Yeah, I'm a little boy. Jezebel. 